Hoi hoi hoi, it's Jekoy and welcome back to my channel for the first timers. Welcome guys to channel na to. Today we are going to discuss about Halloween. Blah blah blah. blah. No, because we've been seeing a lot of these and a lot of scary masks and scary costumes out there. It's two weeks na lang mag Halloween na. So let's break it down. If if I'm a Christian, should I celebrate Halloween or pwede ba ako maki costume party, whatever? So, yun ang ating luto kasi ngayong araw na to. So, you guys ready? Let's go! Yeah! Halloween uh, celebrated October 31 or November 1 or November 2 here in the Philippines or dito sa Manila, marami na nag-celebrate, nag-throw ng party, pakatakot or sometimes Doon sa bagong ilog sa Pasig, meron pang ano, parang nagiging position siya, tapos nagiging costume party, pinaka nakakatakot, mas okay. But no, kailangan muna natin malaman kung saan nag-originate itong Halloween na to. The origins of Halloween can be traced back to Celtic tradition na uh, it's observing the end of summer and welcoming the mas madilim na season, like fall, or autumn, and winter, and it's a druidic tradition. It was the beginning of the Celtic year and they helped believe Samyan, the Lord of Death, sent evil spirits to attack humans. So in order for humans to escape the attacks, they dress up like evil spirit themselves. Like, mga nakakatakot, mga kung ano-ano, and all that. So yun, maraming tradition. We are still doing that. And most of us, hindi natin alam kung saan talaga nang galing yun. So, segue to Pwede ba akong sumali? Pwede ba akong participate? Celebrate Halloween if I'm a Christian or if I have kids or pamangkin na Christian? Let's see. Well, if I'm a Christian or if I'm a parent na meron ako mga kids, so now nalaman ko na yung history no, na evil spirits pala yung Halloween. So, um, it doesn't mean na you can't participate anymore sa mga celebration na ganun. Guys, yung mga anak nyo super feel pressured sila mag, mag dress up, mag trick or treat. Well, all tricks, no, uh, all three, no, tricks ito. Pero ang sa akin lang, ano, you can twist it a little bit na hindi naman tayo masyadong magiging um, by the law dito or parang we're, we're going to complete shut down yung mga nag-celebrate ng Halloween. But all the more will be the salt and light of the world na we can have an alternative, alternative celebration dun sa ating Halloween party na yun. We can have a costume party like Halloween with na ginagawa namin ng mga tambays every year na nag-dress up kami. Just nothing, building memories. And it's an opportunity for us to share the gospel dun sa mga kids or teach them the values of really na meron talagang mga samang loob o meron talagang mga samang spirit. But take heart, sabi niya sa Bible, Jesus overcome the world. See, it's a bridging event. So make it a point na we complete shutdown na hindi na tayo sasali. But of course, we have to be wise then in celebrating and not participating or participating in certain uh, celebration like that. But then it depends on the costume that you're gonna wear. Na we don't wear mga devil na mga sunga na ganun. As Christians, set our stand. We respect the other guys who dress up like that but then we don't wear costumes na may mga pangil, nakakatakot, or ganun. We don't want to instill fear or we don't want to encourage kids to be afraid of something na mas, mas nakakataas ang Panginoon sa bawat isa sa kanila. Okay? I don't wanna sound religious here. I just wanna build them with this one and I just want to enlighten everyone na hindi natin kailangan maging KJ na parang naging Christian ka, hindi nga na pwede magsaya or mag-costume party. So, some reminders. So, there you go. Some reminders na pwede natin i-share sa mga kids natin while doing our own costume party is that spiritual world filled with goodness which is from God and a evil spirits from the evil one. So, so we can teach them that Jesus overtake or overcome the world. Life with Christ has power over darkness. So instead of instilling fear and scaring people, we can encourage them that, you know, death itself has no sting over the power of Jesus. So it's a golden opportunity while everyone's having costume and 
giving candies. It's a good stuff na yung giving candies. But don't forget na you can still tong hope, being the salt and light, and being encouragement to the world uh, while doing that party. Okay, so what time KJ? So we can have a celebration. It's a costume party. And yun, parang hindi ma-pressure yung mga anak nyo na nasabi pa ako. Hindi, parang hindi naman sila left out. Why not make our own Halloween tradition, right? So, there you go guys. I hope you learned something. So, it's not bad to have a costume party on sa Ulundas, November 1, October 31, November 2. As long as you instill hope, uh, being salt and light, and being encouragement, and pointing everyone to Jesus that He has the power he has the dominion all over those evil spirits. Okay? Thank you. Blah, 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 blah. So there you go, guys. Let me know what you think about our vlog for today. Let me know what you think or do you have, if you have any ideas or any suggestion, any idea or any suggestion sa costume party natin gagawin or ngayong Halloween. Let me know. Ano ba yan? Maglilis ka na nga mula doon. Nandito ka pa. Sige na nga. Mamiyana.